What's up guys, it's Clanfight here. I'm just going to be reacting today to a video guys that's come out with Mr. Turkey LL Shake and Tyson Fury guys. Now, I've done enough videos on my channel exposing both these two guys, but it seems like they're not stopping guys. Even though Tyson Fury has been battered pillar to post and even though Turkey LL Sheik's favourite fighter has lost, he still looks like he's in the corner of Mr. Tyson Fury and he shows clear bias here towards Usyk. Um, he still has a plan for Tyson Fury to, well, he wants Tyson Fury to win. So obviously um, for him, um, I'm, I'm, obviously he probably wants the AJ versus Tyson Fury fight, which we will still want. But I don't think this Tyson Fury guy's got it in him to beat Usyk. But guys, I'm just going to play the video, then I'm going to give you my breakdown because um, this guy needs to get exposed, man, for his favoritisms and biases. So I'm just going to play the video, guys, then I'll give you my take. First of all, it is great to see the champ again. He's my brother, and I have two messages. Small message from the president of Val Maria. I bring the champ to hit him because he's getting down, and I want him back to the Liga. Yeah, we will yes. come back faster. We'll come back faster. If you no don't come back next year, no need get his fight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the second message to Ozik. Still w wasting your time with The Rock and the movies. And we are training now. We're in training for you, Rusek. Get well, brother. And I'll see you in December for the big KO. Big drama show. Get up! Waste your time, Ozzy. Get in the gym, Rusek. In the gym, son. We are now doing the map and doing the camp plan. We'll be ready. You. See you. Okay, guys, for me, I don't know what to say. This this looks like desperation attempts now, guys. These are desperational attempts. Now, clearly, guys, um, I'll go through it bit by bit. Now, you got Tyson Fury on the left, who looks like he's an ogre who's just come out of the Shrek camp, uh, the Shrek swamp, in my opinion. The guy's looking like Mike Myers, sh uh, like Shrek that's just come out of the, uh, the swamp. You got Turkey LL Sheik trying his best to convince everyone um, that Tyson Fury is going to basically beat Usyk this time. Tyson Fury doesn't even believe it in himself now. I've done enough breakdowns on this guy. He's literally come out of um, a slumber. Um, guy was crawling on his knees a few weeks ago. Then he's back in the gym saying one thing. Then he's having arguments with AJ. While getting pressured by Turkey to fight AJ. Tyson Fury's going through it right now. He's trying his best, but the guy's just looking like Shrek right now. But anyways, um, let me just go through this again. So... Let's break it down. See the champ again. He's my brother. So Turkey puts his hand on his shoulder and he calls Tyson Fury the champ when clearly Tyson Fury doesn't have any belt. So I don't know why he still calls him champ. Another clear sign of biases. And he goes, is his brother. Tyson Fury is just trying to do a little smile thinking, as long as I'm getting my millions, I'll do whatever you want. And I have two messages. Small message. From the president of Almeria. President of Almeria. I don't know who this guy is. I bring the champ to hit him because he's getting down and I want him back to the Liga. Yeah. We will yes. come back for, we will come back for. I think this is some football stuff, which guys, I'm not too knowledge, knowledgeable on it, but uh, it's probably about Fury just to say some stuff to him. If you don't come back next year, no need get his yeah. <laughs> Okay, the second message to Ozik. Still w wasting your time with The Rock and the movies. So, you got Turkey El Sheik saying to Usyk, you're still wasting your time with The Rock and the movies. I, I, I really don't get it because, one, for me, Usyk ain't that type of fighter, guys, that's just going to be... If he's got told to do a movie role, which I heard he is doing a movie role, he's not the type of guy to stop training, guys. He'd probably still be training in the background. So it's probably like a hobby for him probably something he hasn't done whereas you got Tyson Fury who got gets pissed and goes in the pubs and he crawls on his knees in my opinion even if Usyk lowered his training which I don't think he will even if Tyson Fury ups his training right now I still would edge Usyk due to the mental side and the psychological side you got Shrek here who's just come out the swamp Versus Usyk, who's an animal, guys. He always trains. He's never slacking. He's never crawling on his knees. So, to be honest, Turkey, Mr. Turkey, 
Usyk can do as many movies as he want, wants. He'll still beat this Dossa on the left. So that's my opinion. And we are training now. We're in training for your Usyk. You're training now. You should have been training from that first day. But it looks like you were training to drink pints. That's what you were doing. And you were crawling. You can't believe anything that comes out of your mouth anymore, Mr. Tyson Fury. And we can just tell, guys, this is all an act. Get well, brother. And I'll see you in December for the big KO. Big drama show. Get up. Big KO, big drama show. He doesn't even know what he's saying anymore. It's got to the point, guys, where... Look, I've said it in my other videos. Check my channel out, guys. Tyson Fury has lost his edge, guys. He's now fighting for money. He's a prize fighter. He's going to get paid a lot, which is good. I don't knock him for that. But, guys, that once you know someone's got your number, you, you don't even go with the flow. Like, he's laughing about it. Tyson Fury is, like, all giggly and laughy. He knows within himself he can't beat Usyk. He'll give it his best shot. But he doesn't have that killer switch. Like, I've been training like an animal. We're, we're going to take you out on that date. Is he still giggly laughing? No, that's Tyson Fury being Tyson Fury. But in my opinion, guys, it's not going to be enough. Um, I've already done a psychological breakdown on this guy. So in my in my opinion, the guy's mentally finished. Waste your time, Ozzy. Get in the gym, Usyk. In the gym, son. <laughs> Tyson Fury is telling Usyk to get in the gym. Oh, my God. This is the guy, like I said, crawling on his knees, having pints, and then he just does a few motivational speeches for the camera. Don't worry about Usyk getting in the gym. Usyk can get in the gym whenever he wants. He's still going to beat your ass. He's got your number, mate. We are now doing the map and doing the camp plan. So the map and the plan camp. This is Turkey Ala Sheik exposed once again. The plan is he wants AJ versus Tyson Fury. And hopefully, if somehow, for his in his in his view, if Tyson Fury beats Usyk, AJ versus Tyson Fury will generate a lot more money. So this Turkey Al Sheik guy wants the dollars to come back to his. He wants the big box. Now, don't get me wrong; he's a big fan of boxing as well, but he knows what would make the big money fight. But unfortunately, Mr. Turkey, I think it's going to end worse. It's going to end worse for Mr. Tyson Fury. Yeah. We're we'll ready. ready. See you. Look at this, it looks forced right now, guys. This is very awkward and forced, but... Oh, guys, I don't know what's happened. I think Tyson Fury's finished. I think Turkey Al Sheik's in desperation mode. I don't know what to say, guys. In my opinion, it's going to be a... It's going to be a, a another annihilation from Usyk, and it might be worse. But guys, that's just going to be my video. You leave your thoughts below. Um, what do you think about this? And uh, who do you think is going to win in the rematch? Is Tyson Fury going to come in his best shape ever even if he does guys is he mentally going to be ready for Usyk because we know Usyk's destroyed him and Turkey Al Sheik we know Turkey Al Sheik that guy's just he has specific fighters he likes he wants them to win but unfortunately for this guy every time he picks against someone they always come up short guys uh, most times guys this guy's this guy's bad luck guys I would stay the hell away from this guy um this guy's plans, whatever his map is, he wanted Wilder versus AJ. Wilder got battered. He wanted, obviously, Tyson Fury to versus Usyk. Usyk lost badly. I'm telling you, whatever distance this guy goes to, whatever plans he has, they don't come into fruition. My my, when when this guy's putting so much money into your account, you can literally uh, get deluded. And in my opinion, Tyson Fury is at that level right now. But who knows? Maybe you can pull it off. Leave your thoughts below, anyway, guys. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.